Introduction to International Pricing IP, Strategies The similarity between margin, price, and selling level are emphasized. The price generated on volume sales is being investigated next, and the system detects the concept of a selling curve. These are pricing methods such as price testing, the cost plus technique, expert engagement, market analysis, and consumer survey. The collective amount is concerned with observing the parameters that are the tools for the significance towards customers located in the last group. The profile step has reduced the variation known as the two-factor method, described and transformed in depth. The offer of each tester set of part words is known as a numerical value. Furthermore, it is not necessarily the customer who is the actual contentment. Price has also had a significant impact on how much money a company makes. Each company's gross revenue has been calculated by multiplying the fees charged to consumers or customers by the number of units sold. Specific payment is payable for all the company actions, production, finance, sales, distribution, etc. Profit is the money that the company has left. Managers will inform to charge of pricing that allows their company to collect many reasonable returns on the company investment. They also need to optimize being back on investment to the perfect extent possible while still returning to a fair return. Definition of International Pricing IP Strategies A few internet software distributors may establish low rates for their products and send monthly emails to users with new product offers. Consumers may be willing to pay a more excellent price if the company's equipment is unique or of higher quality than that of a competitor. An organization may have a fantastic product in great demand in its early phases of development. When a small firm utilizes penetration pricing, it sets the price of coffee for its products or services to increase market share, which is defined as the company's market share as a proportion of total sales. Because of the product life cycle, each product has a shelf life. Every product includes a lifespan, which is brought up because of the product life cycle. A consequence of the life cycle is willingly moved through introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. A little low business will keep prices higher when sales increase during the expansion stage. According to research, Simon, 2015, has researched that due to decreased price power and increased pricing pressure, 87% of companies want to enhance their pricing strategies, procedures, and processes, according to 2,186 organizations from 40 countries. Price discrimination is a marketing approach in which a vendor charges varying rates for the same product or service depending on what they think the consumer would agree to. The vendor charges each consumer the utmost amount they will pay in pure price discrimination. Consumer willingness to pay and demand elasticity determine price differentiation. To succeed in price discrimination, a company requires market power, such as a large market share, distinctive goods, and monopolistic pricing authority. Instead of distinguishing between individuals, group discrimination distinguishes between groups or classes of customers. Customers can still freely pick from a variety of available things at inflated costs. Price discrimination divided into three categories, first, second and third of price discrimination. First degree of price discrimination. First degree discrimination, or perfect price discrimination, occurs when a business charges the maximum possible price for each unit consumed. Because prices vary among units, the firm captures all available consumer surplus for itself or the economic surplus. The monopoly company of an item or service must know the most or reserve the price that each consumer is prepared to pay to practice principal or first degree price discrimination. The vendor knows the reserve price, they may offer the products or services to every customer at the best price they are willing to pay, converting consumer excess into profit and making it the only beneficial kind of price discrimination. The marginal consumer features a reservation price adequate to the product's incremental cost, implying that society surplus is entirely derived from producer surplus, which is advantageous to the firm. Second degree of price discrimination. Second degree price discrimination involves charging consumers a different prick e for the amount or quantity consumed. Examples include, a phone plan that charges a higher rate after a determined amount of minutes are used. 
reward cards that provide frequent shoppers with a discount on future products. This is often especially prevalent in industrial transactions, where bulk purchasers receive discounts. Sellers are unable to discern between or cannot distinguish between our categories of consumers and types of consumers, additionally to second-degree pricing discrimination. For example, airlines frequently provide first-class and economy seats on flights, with first-class passengers receiving wine, beer, and spirits as part of their ticket, while economy passengers receive just juice, pop, and water. In a few aspects, this is also group discrimination. It is based on inequalities between particular groups of buyers and aims to use these differences in a way that makes discriminatory pricing difficult to ignore. In a movie theater, for example, customers may be divided into three groups, seniors, adults, and children, each paying a different price to view a same film. Third-degree discrimination is linked directly to consumers' willingness and ability to pay for a good or service. It means that the prices charged may bear little or no relation to the cost of production. Third-degree price discrimination requires charging various rates to different sorts of clients within a particular group and being able to distinguish between them in order to assign each group a unique monopolistic pricing. For example, when a corporation gives a student discount on a product, this is considered pricing discrimination. Students may not have enough money to buy products in general making them more price sensitive. However, the S main target on students will result in a pricing gap between students and non-students. This demonstrates how pricing discrimination leads to product discrimination for those who aren't the company's intended. Next is price skimming. It's a best strategy for pricing new products to maximize profits. Companies use this strategy to charge high price for newly launched products and gradually lower the price once customers are familiar with it. Businesses receive profitable sales if implement this strategy carefully. Companies become a monopoly when using this for a longer time. However, it is a good strategy for businesses that willing to take risk to recover business investment. Companies also use this when they are unsure of the demand a product has in the market. Examples of price skimming are Apple products, Sony PlayStation 3 and Tesla Model 3. Price skimming can be considered as ethical issues and unethical issues. There are a few ethical issues of price skimming that businesses can expect. The first is high on return investment. Businesses charges product for higher price to improve business research and development costs, promotional expenses and return on investment when releasing product. It also cover cost of developing product and entering market. Secondly, maintaining consumer interest as prices are lower keep customers interested in the product and company gain high profitability. Selling products at a higher price will not deter early adopters even though they feel like the price is too expensive to own. When price go lower, it attract customers interest, called price sensitive customers. Companies also will be able to reach new potential customers. Next, early adopter testing. With this strategy, businesses sell few units of the product launched as an opportunity for companies to move their products to the market for practical use. They will release few and undersized units so early adopters can become unofficial product testers to give valuable feedback before launching products widely. They can be word of mouth advertisers and companies get free promotions and new customers to buy products. Lastly, creating and maintaining brand image. This strategy help businesses establish companies branding or premium offering of products. Charging a high price when locking new product create image business product is of high quality. This allow them to charge soaring prices for current and future products continuously. Business will also get increasingly loyal customers. Next, what is price fixing? According to the Federal Trade Commission, price fixing is an agreement between competitors. Firms must decide their pricing and other competitive terms rather than bargain with a competitor. Contracts between competing consumers or employers about the expenses or wages they will pay are also examples of price fixing. The government's Antitrust Enforcement Office is concerned about collaborative pricing tactics. The idea is that by keeping expenses low, the cartel effectively limits competition via a costly undertaking. 
price fixing is a violation of the typical supply and demand rules. It gives monopolies a competitive edge and is not in the public's best interests. Customers pay higher prices because of these practices, which limit incentives to develop and create barriers to entry. Despite convincing reasons in favor of making price fixing illegal, consumer choice may make it impossible. There are numerous different sorts of price fixing agreements, and any arrangement that prevents price competition is illegal. Price fixing is illegal and immoral not because it affects customers, but because it violates one of the basic prerequisites for markets to function correctly. Conduct that allows a single seller or group of vendors to drive the call goes against the principles of efficient marketplaces. When businesses engage in price fixing, they are not only acting unethically, they are also acting unethically as capitalists. There are four types of price fixing that we can discuss. First, an agreement to temporarily raise prices. All competitors agree to a set level of price increases for a product. According to Cardozo Law Review research released in 2012, such agreements generate a 37% increase in prices. Second, prices should be frozen or reduced. Price freezes are not encouraged and should be employed only when monetary policy has proven ineffective. Central banks utilize economic policy to avoid inflation, reduce unemployment, and keep long-term interest rates stable. Third, price fixing on a horizontal scale. This entails rivals reaching an agreement on a minimum or maximum price for their respective goods or services. Finally, price fixing on a vertical scale. Supply chain members, manufacturers, producers, and retailers, agree on a minimum and maximum price, which is then enforced. Producers, for example, may opt to set a minimum resale price together. Companies tend to go for any means or ways that they can possibly do in order to generate and also increase their revenues and sales. Sometimes they use legal ways and sometimes they use illegal ways. Their aim is to gain the interests of their customers and gain the upper hand in the market. Deceptive or illegal price advertising is similar to lying as it deceives the customers. The first example of deceptive or illegal pricing are Deceptive reference pricing. Reference price help the customers to compare the price by making a reference point for them. The price of product that is more expensive is used as reference point. If the reference price is fake then the advertisement is considered deceptive. Meanwhile, if the reference price is legitimate then the advertisement is considered informative. Next, the bait and switch approach. In this approach sellers advertise products that is sold at a cheap price or any price that would attract customers to come to their store but when the customers arrived, they would not sell the product to them. Instead, sellers will say that the stock for the product is finished and will sell similar product but at a higher price to the customers. Next, hidden fees and surcharges. Hidden fees are fees that is not shown on the displayed price of the product. It is an unexpected fee that is applied to the buyers when buying a product or services. Since buyers won't expect to be charged by the additional charge and can only realize it when they check the payment statement is why it is known as hidden fees. Next, going out of business sales. Company will often raise prices on products marked for clearance when they are liquidating. The company will raise the price of their product and then gives out discount for the product in order to attract the buyers. This will make the discount to be lower than what is shown. Next, fillers and oversized packaging. Certain goods are sold with fillers which will increase the net weight of the goods. It will cost the seller low expenses but in return will deceive the buyers into thinking that the product quantity is a lot. Lastly, incomplete or inconsistent comparison. Some company will advertise their product by stating that their product is better than other products while not stating which product they are referring to as better than it meaning that when their product is better than other companies product on one aspect while being inferior on other aspects they will state that their product is better than other companies products this will thus be making the buyers to think that their product is superior than any other product in conclusion 
A firm might employ a range of pricing techniques, usually defined by the organization's objectives. After deciding on a pricing goal, a corporation must devise a pricing strategy. This will assist them when it comes time to price their things. There are a variety of price systems to choose from and a variety of pricing objectives. Certain strategies work well with specific aims, so, make sure you pick the right one. A well-chosen price goal should guide the finest pricing approaches. If a company's price plan contradicts its pricing aims, the questions posed in its introduction and marketing strategy should be revisited. Manufacturers regularly introduce new products and services, then track economic trends. Consumers will focus on the most appealing features and products. Thus, manufacturers can try to monitor economic behavior by providing multiple items.